Hello fellow cycling fans and welcome to the preview of the first mountain stage in this year's Vuelta a España. It is stage 4, 171 kilometers uh, long stage from Plasencia to Pico Viluercas. Uh, first category climb, uh, really steep in the end. Uh, we will take a look at the profile, uh, potential breakaway riders, potential stage winners, uh, the weather. I will uh, tell you my predictions and we will look at bookmakers odds. But before all that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a preview of a Grand Tour stage on my channel ever again. So, uh, this stage uh, starts with some uh, flat roads in the first like uh, 14 kilometers, but then we have the first climb of the day, Puerto de Cabeza Belosa, uh, second category climb. So probably we will have a fierce battle for the breakaway here because these kind of stages, first mountain top finishes, first mountain tests in the GC without a clear favorite tend to go to the breakaway as the breakaway has a lot of prizes on the menu, uh, potential stage win, uh, red jersey and of course polka dot jersey, so we can have uh, multiple battles on the stage tomorrow. Uh, then. Uh, Soon after the first climb, we have the second climb of the day, Alto de Piernal, a famous climb in Spain, uh, first category climb, uh, then a long downhill, uh, some 50 kilometers uh, in the valley, so uh, here I think that it will be decided, will the stage go to the breakaway or will some uh, GC team uh, try to catch the breakaway and win, uh, probably uh, Red Bull for uh, Roglic or maybe Jumbo Visma for uh, Seb Kuss uh, can try and chase the breakaway, also EF uh, for uh, Richard Carapaz or uh, Little Trek for someone like uh, Shkiel Mose, but I still think that the breakaway takes this stage. Uh, then the third uh, climb of the day, uh, Puerto de Miravete and uh, then some uh, 30 kilometers of the flat roads before the final climb uh, to Pico Vuelcares and this climb is really hard in the last 5 kilometers. First 10 kilometers are pretty shallow, some 4-5% uh, uh, but then we have a kilometer of 13.6 then another with 14.1 and then third uh, kilometer in construction uh, with 16.4% with the maximum gradients of 20%. So there's no hiding here. If you are here uh, for the GC, you have to perform here. Uh, the group, maybe we will not see a lot of attacks, but uh, someone will stay behind and lose a lot of time. Uh, final two kilometers are not that steep, but there is one ramp of 15% uh, just before the finish. So quite a hard stage and uh, we will see a lot of battles. If we take a look at the weather, we can see that it is once again going to be really hot, uh, really hot stage, 37 degrees Celsius all through the day in the valley before the final climb. Some light breeze, just 2 meters per second, you can't even uh, cool the riders with that kind of wind and uh, probably that wind is also hot, so it will be a survival mode for a lot of riders, especially the ones in the back uh, suffering on the climbs. Uh, before we take a look at bookmakers odds, uh, tell me in the comments who is your pick for tomorrow's stage, uh, will it go to the breakaway, uh, can a GC team uh, bring the breakaway back and someone from the GC group uh, takes the stage and uh, who do you think will be in the red jersey tomorrow. My pick uh, for the red jersey is uh, Primo Roglic but I am not so sure that he will win the stage as we have a lot of options on tomorrow's stage. So, uh, Primo Roglic obviously the favorite with 4.20, but you can see that this is a wide open stage. Uh, Richard Carabas, second favorite in front of Schiel Mose, uh, Sepp Kuss, Leonard van Edfeld, Michael Woods maybe from the breakaway, Adam Yates, Giulio Ciccone, another good option for the breakaway. Will he be let uh, go in the breakaway? That is a big question, but I think that uh, the GC teams will have to sacrifice, uh, let's say, their hopes and just let someone go in the breakaway uh, of the good riders. So maybe Giulio Ciccone is a good option for that. Then Joao Meida, Isaac Del Toro, Mikel Landa, Victor Lafay from the breakaway. I can pick him for tomorrow's stage. Uh, the Catlin are really desperate for results. I think that uh, Lafay and Valentin Pantre go in the breakaway and one of them 
wins and uh, Primoz Roglic is uh, my pick to take the red uh, jersey tomorrow. Uh, before we round up this preview of stage 4, let's do a quick recap of stage 3. Won by Wout van Aert in a sprint in front of Caden Gross, uh, Ayon Aberasturi, uh, Arne Marit and Pavel Bittner. In the GC, uh, Wout van Aert extends his lead but I think that uh, this is his final day in the red jersey at least in this year's Vuelta. McNulty is uh, still second in front of Atze Kung, Afini Mauro Schmidt, uh, then Roglic in seventh, uh, who I think it is a good option to take the red tomorrow. In the points uh, classification, uh, Wout van Aert now overtakes Caden Gross. Caden uh, Gross didn't really fight for those points at the intermediate sprint. Now I don't know if he doesn't want to fight for the jersey or he was just saving uh, himself for the finish, but it will be a battle to take a look at in the coming days. And in the KOM, uh, Luis Angel Mar after another day in the breakaway takes nine points but tomorrow's stage offers uh, so many points uh, at stake so whoever uh, goes in tomorrow's break will probably take the polka dot uh, jersey from Mate but Mate can uh, himself go in a breakaway and maybe try to challenge for the jersey with his 40 years. Uh, in the US classification, uh, Vatsak still leads and in the team's classification, uh, Team UA Emirates are leading, but tomorrow will change everything, probably. Uh, thank you for watching my videos, like if you like my comments about races, don't forget to subscribe, have a great day, I hope to see you tomorrow for the preview of stage 5, have a great day and bye.